have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Um, I don't want to wander. So, are you going to that Vortex Club party? Oh, maybe. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. <laughs> a Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Oh, come on. I can be cool. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. <laughs> yeah, why not? Okay, where can we go? Um, let's talk to him, maybe? Sir? Ah, hello, Max. Would you like to tell me what you wouldn't yesterday? I'll try. I've never... No, I mean, no. I don't have anything oh, to tell on. you. More secrets. Now, excuse me, I have a meeting to attend. I like to try to tell him. I'm really curious how... Sir? Ah, he will hello, react. Max. Would you like to tell me what you wouldn't yesterday? There was just a lot going on with the fire alarm and everything. Yes, but you were distracted by something else. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Mm. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. You won't tell me the truth about yesterday, but you want to tell me the truth about Mr. Madsen. It sounds more like sour grapes. Excuse me, ma'am. No, I'm not leaving it like that. Sir? Ah, hello, Max. Would you like to tell me what you would- So we cannot yesterday? tell him at this point. That's interesting. There is just a lot going on with the fire alarm and everything. Yes, but you were distracted by something else. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared mm -hmm. of at Blackwell right. Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? <sighs> Probably not the same one you see. You won't tell me the truth about yesterday, but you want to tell me the truth about Mr. Madsen. It sounds more like sour grapes. Excuse me now. Okay, so whatever we try to tell him, he is not happy. So, you know, whatever. Let's talk to Zachary. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm <laughs> always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. <laughs> as long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sex in Victoria. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini-drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. What does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. Hmm. We try. Max, can we talk? Mm. Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? Mm. I don't want to talk to him. I don't think so. And you hit Chloe. I'm sh 
sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. Oh, come on. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Mm -hmm. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Gosh, I don't like this guy. If only I knew what David Madsen was really up to. Yeah, if only we knew. What's up? <laughs> okay, um... Hey, girl! I'm in sci-fi lab now. I'm no Strogender's kitty. See you soon. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. Oops. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. <laughs> okay, um... Hi, Miss Grant. Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. <laughs> she is. Cool. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. <laughs> Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. <laughs> Have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I have a vision. Go diem. <laughs> Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. <laughs> Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Okay. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Aww. He has a cool Spanish accent, by the way. Brain think. Well, let's ask the teacher, maybe. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts, and yours might be the one that decided. This can't be that hard. Hmm. How's your campaign going? It's missing somebody who should care. But no finger pointing in, Max. <laughs> More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. Some of us want to use our cameras for good. But people like David Madsen want to use them to spy. Jeez, I'm not like him, Miss Grant. I know, Max. But the trick is to make sure Blackwell Academy does not end up like him. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. <laughs> I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. <clears throat> you must like photography. I do, but I'm certainly no artist. I'm all about the science. You can't debate numbers. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. 
I would add chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. I feel like Miss Grant knows a lot more than we assume, but I'm not sure. Let's talk to Brooke then. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? Oh my god. Uh, I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. I just wanted, oh, you know. Oh, I guess make he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. God, uh... Apparently, it's my nature. Yet, Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help, anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just thinking, did I miss any photos? Maybe? Maybe not? Let's check it. Um... No new texts. No. Uh, photos, yeah. Oh, I missed some. <sighs> well, collectible mode is there to help. Okay. Let's help him. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. <laughs> Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Aww. Oh, you guys really broke the bounds of science. <laughs> Let's take a photo. <laughs> He is a real everyday hero. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full on geek mode. What do you want from me? I want you to be honest. Nobody believes me anyway. Stop acting so brittle. Being on a viral video does that. Maybe this is your way of getting attention. That's so mean, Mr. Jefferson. You just don't get it. Leave me alone. You have to talk to me, Kate. Why? It's all over, like me. Knock off this martyr crap. What do you want from me? Hmm. I want you to be honest. Okay, you Don't know what? I didn't say that um, previously, but I do suspect Jefferson of having a big say in what's going on. Um, but, you know, I, I don't have many proof to prove that so i'm just you know keeping my distance at this theory um you know he i don't even know how to say that if for you to not think that i'm completely clueless about what's happening here um i mean rachel was quite close with with um jefferson I think we all know that as fans that she she could have been really close to Jefferson. Um, I don't know why he would like Kate to be close to him. I mean, that's too. Mr. Jefferson, so you can't help me. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Maybe they were closer than we think. Nobody does. Nobody. Kate, please. Kate. Leave me alone. Kate. <sighs> Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. 
So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me, I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. <laughs> Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. Oh, I assume I hope you so. know about this viral video. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Well, he's like interrogating us. Do you see that? How much he, he need he wants to find out how much do we know? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing hmm. persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. The principal well said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. Oh, come on. You care to share? Not right now. <clears throat> I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello. Does Max look at the yes? per like the person who would cause uh, any trouble? Hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. That's really convenient to blame Max, really. Because she might not tell. Uh huh. Sure. Okay. Mhm. Mm who is he talking with? Listen. I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. I'll do that. Okay. Tell me something more. Oh, it, I know. That makes sense. Okay. Huh? Mm hmm mm hmm Seriously, I have to hang up now. Okay. Let's talk about this later. We'll talk later, okay? I have to go. Who is he talking to? That bugs me so because much. I can't have this conversation with you right now, okay? Would you please just hang up the phone? Okay. Okay. He's just too... Make me beautiful, Hayden. Bo. Too Bo. tense Bo. about the subject. Nina, you are out of Can control. I search through his desk, left, please? <laughs> oh, Alyssa. I think she has a bad feeling. She looks like she has a bad feeling. No. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Okay. Daniel, want to speak with What's us? What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I <laughs> hope you like the sketch I did of you yesterday. Yeah, it was awesome. Love. And it's my new avatar. <laughs> Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. <laughs> Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Good to have dreams. Hayden, you are taking photos too? I'm kind of doing something now, Max. Okay. Dana just loves it. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Yes, I oh, am. I'm, here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Like all the other precious twee artists here. You really nailed me. 
<laughs> Meow! Bring out the claws! I love seeing chicks fight. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Max thought we were going to be buds. Fucking ha ha. <laughs> <sighs> assholes will be assholes, no matter if you're nice to them. Hmm. I do think that Nathan and Victoria have some scheme going on. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Look, they are talking, they are talking and looking at Max a little. Maybe they're discussing what whether to... Hey, Hi, Warren. Warren! I saw Kate earlier. Her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. Yeah. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. <laughs> Everybody else, please sit down. Maybe. We have a lot to cover today Bye. and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> she was not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Usually, people need something That's to judge, weird. so they sometimes never take a good look at themselves. Sometimes not. Did you notice that? We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you <laughs> must know today we're studying... Kiro Skiro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in monochrome. Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's door! Zachary, do not come into my class like Here that ever go. again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. Oh, no. Guys, you know what's going to happen now, right? Is this for real? It slipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. No. Run, Max. Run. What's happening? Kate! Kate, no. No! No, Kate. Oh, God. I have to do something to help him. Not again. Not now. No. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Mm. Now that's seriously cool. Look at Victoria making a video. That's just... Look at Nathan. It feels like he's kind of smiling. That's Keep so weird. Going, Max. You can do it. I just want to look at Victoria. Look at her. I cannot believe she's like recording this. try to save her. So let's go. <sighs> Poor Kate. Yeah. Max. 
was inappropriate. do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help, like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate. Please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. <sighs> Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon, then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Mac. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good, we all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Oh my God, please be strong, Kate. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. Yes, please, Kate. You're my friend. Forever. Please. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Oh, come on, Kate. Nobody. Your father cares about Kate, you. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. Please, Kate. talking about you saved me from talking in class <laughs> oh my god you know first time I was playing the game I d I couldn't save her that now I know so today hard. was difficult for everybody but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life of course, you're quite the hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As <clears throat> principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened <clears throat> today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, 
As our head of security here, those root doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Oh my god. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Now, I feel at this point, whatever we do, uh, he will, the, the principal will try to take us down, and I have no idea why uh, he is that much against us. Um, I think whatever we do now, we cannot go right. So I am going to say that David bullied her because that's the only thing that I think we can. I don't want to be all about Nathan and dosing her uh, because I have no proof, obviously, and because that's a serious accusation and I want him, you know, to be close, to be near me uh, and not expelled or anything. Um, I don't want to blame Jefferson now because he can get scared off um, so David bullied her Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate oh grow excuse up excuse me I was there I saw you getting in her face you have no idea what you saw Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd I was trying to find out who Kate mm -hmm. had a double life I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little shh. Are you gonna take this troublemaker's word over your security officer? Oh, come and he on. should take the word of somebody who harasses students? Max, I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Now, if you have anything else to say, no. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. Yeah. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. No, no. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. Yeah. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Oh my god, some serious shit is going on around there. I can tell. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause. Like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm so worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it. Just one. And a half times. Oh, come on, Warren. Warren. I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something 
ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Poor Max. She's probably so freaked out now. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Okay, end of the episode two. Boys allowed, right? I'm just glad we saved her. Should this music have stopped by now? I don't know, <laughs> I don't think so. You will try. Yeah. One more scene, I think so. Well, I shouldn't have saved Kate because the music would be still on, I think. Is it over? No. Yeah, Rachel. The binders. God. I feel like we are dealing with a serial killer or I don't know something like that <sighs> well not this time dark room person okay thank you so much for watching I'm ending the episode here um, and see you in episode 3 bye